Hi guys, this video is all about similes and metaphors and to kind of identify these when I look at an extract from The Wolf of Wall Street. So this is brought to you from Book One Teaching. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what a simile is, what a metaphor is, and then we're going to go ahead and watch the film clip and see if you can identify these two language features. So a simile is a figurative expression. That means we don't really mean it when we're trying to say that something is similar to something else. And when we make that comparison, we usually use the words like or as. So if we have a look at our example here, don't act like a pig. Okay, so you're just acting like a pig, but you're not actually calling the person a pig. We call this the weaker comparison of these two figurative uh, language techniques that you can use. So next we have metaphors, and this is when we state that something is something that it is not. And this is more of a complete comparison, where similarly you might say that someone is as silly as a monkey. But for a metaphor, you would just say that the person is a monkey. So similes can tend to focus on individual traits, whereas metaphors are a lot stronger, and they say that you embody all of the characteristics of the thing you're comparing it to. Now in a moment we're going to play the clip from Wolf of Wall Street and I just wanted to spend a moment to see if you can listen to it and identify where the simile is and where the metaphor is. And if you were doing this in an exam, try and think, especially if you're doing GCSE English language, what is the effect of this language? Um, why is the writer deliberately used these comparisons and what effects is that going to have on the audience? Okay, let's start watching. Without you... They're just worthless hunks of plastic, like a loaded M16 without a trained Marine to pull the trigger. And in the case of the telephone, it's up to each and every one of you, my highly trained Stratonites, my killers, my killers who will not take no for an answer. So let's have a look at two quotes that we can pull from this recording, okay? So like a loaded M16, without a trained marine to pull the trigger. So this is, they're talking about the telephone and usually when you're making a quote, you'd mention that telephone bit as well, because it's very important. So the telephone is like a loaded M16 without a trained marine to pull the trigger. So it's a comparison using like or as, and so you should identify that correctly as a simile. Okay, um, the next one, my killers. Now you've seen the video clip, these people, they're all dressed in suits and ties, they're, they're not killers, you know, and they're definitely not in the army, which even though that seems like um, quite an obvious thing to state, it's all been done deliberately. So my killers is saying they're killers, he's not saying like or as, so we know that that is there um, a metaphor. So in the next section, I'm going to show you how to analyse how the writers actually used that. And if we take an example from the English language exam for uh, AQA, we look at question three, paper two. How does the writer use language to influence the audience? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you a sample by P paragraph, a very simple analysis, and then it's going to have um, some missing words that I want you to kind of pause the video in a second when I show you and have a go at filling in the gaps. Okay. So this is my sample answer and a very basic one. Um, if you are looking to kind of expand that and involve things like context, be sure to look at our video on peace paragraphs. But this is a sample answer just to sh show what I've been working towards. In The Wolf of Wall Street, the writer has used <clears throat> a simile to influence the audience, like a loaded M16 without a trained Marine to pull the trigger. This comparison between the telephones and the M16 makes the audience feel they need to be something in their approach to selling. The reference to Marines makes them feel something which will inspire them to sell more as a comparison makes them feel more confident. Okay, so we've got the words relaxed, aggressive, unskilled and well-trained. So just have a look at that and think which words might go into that gap. Okay, so here are the answers. So it makes them feel they need to be aggressive um, if you wanted to expand on that, you could talk about how M16 has connotations of war and violence and how he's trying to kind of give a little bit more purpose to what they're doing. And then it makes them feel well-trained. So a Marine is a very well-trained soldier. And if you could explain that in your analysis, 
It's a very well trained, it's a really good compliment to say that somebody is similar to a marine. So it makes them feel full of uh, this amazing sense of confidence. It also makes them feel all together like an army, you know, like they're attacking. And it's got all these connotations of violence and it's really quite well written. Okay, and if you do want to go for those higher marks, that's what you really need to do. You need to kind of expand upon this, not just say that it's aggressive, but say why is it aggressive? What images is it creating in the audience's mind and how is it making them feel? Finally, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Also, um, if you want any more English videos, be sure to check out Right On Resources for some excellent videos on English, both GCSE and functional skills. Thanks a lot, guys.